God will not be mocked. Hallelujah. Satan is in the church and God is exposing it, not just here in America, but literally all over the earth. I recently saw a post by Abednego Lufau on Facebook the other day. It was about a documentary on TB Joshua, who is known as a prophet. Um, and the post was also sharing some other pastors that endorsed him, um, who needs to publicly renounce him and his teachings after the documentary, right? Um, and after the truth came out from the documentary. Well, I decided to watch the documentary myself. And number one, it broke my heart heart because there are literally people hungry for God coming to church and being led astray by so-called prophets who are actually witches and warlocks. Hallelujah. They are working for the kingdom of darkness to deceive many. There were a lot of disturbing things revealed that went on behind the scenes of what this pastor did to women, to men who were, as they called it, um, in the testimonies, his disciples. But because I have never heard about him or watched any of his teachings prior to this, there, he's not going to be my focus. My focus is going to be on the two African prophets of Baal who have literally infiltrated the American church and are leading many people to hell with their doctrine of demons. And the reason why I take this personal is because I was deceived as well. Those prophets are Lovi Elias and Passion Java, right? Who he claims is his spiritual father, along with every other person connected to them, including so-called apostle Daniel Adams. I say this as a vessel of the living God, one who has been deceived and almost fell into the trap of the enemy by listening to these false prophets. But God is rich in mercy. I said, I serve a God who is rich in mercy. Hallelujah. He will not allow his children to go astray. He did not allow me to fall away. I tell you now that if you had any doubt whatsoever about any of these men just mentioned, know that it is a witness from the Lord and that you need to run from underneath their teachings in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I'm not going to go into depth because I did a video already on a dream that I had on Lovi and, um, you know, how the Lord revealed to me that he was a false prophet. And for me to stop watching his videos and to renounce everything that I got into agreement with during his sermons. And that is exactly what I did. I'm not going to go into detail with it. I want you to go back and you can watch that video if you have not seen it. But Satan does not come dressed as the devil. He comes disguised as an angel of light. A little bit of truth mixed with a whole lot of lie is still a lie. A lie is a lie and it is still deception. The Bible is clear that Satan is the father of lies and the truth is not in him. And that's what you are going to find if you are really walking by the spirit and can discern once these things are brought to light. Please, I am begging you not harden your hearts. Listen and obey what the spirit of the Lord is saying about these individuals and all who are attached to them. Hallelujah. Get back into the secret place. Seek God for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. My channel is not an exposed channel. I'm literally only doing this video as I've done the last one because I really feel that God is leading me to do so. I have family members literally still under the spell of these men who still partake in the cup that they are offering. These men have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. They are tapping into demonic sources to gain illegal access into the spiritual realm. And many of the people in America are not familiar with African witch doctors um, and their practices. And that's why it's easier for us to be deceived. We look at the abilities that these men have to know the past of someone's life 
life or something current about their situation. And we automatically must think that, you know, they're hearing from the Lord, but that is not true. Yes, the Lord gives word of knowledge, but remember the devil doesn't create anything. He comes disguised as an angel of light. He only perverts what God does. And so what they are doing is no different than mediums and psychics who can also read into the past because of familiar spirits. Hallelujah. The only difference is that they are in the pulpit. They have come to deceive God's people and lead them astray. We don't understand how someone can pose as a man or a woman of God and seemingly perform signs and wonders, but it be of demonic origin. We look on the outward appearance, right? As people generally looking on the outward appearance and how the person has a family and they present themselves as husbands and family men, etc. right? Our hearts and motives may be pure and we don't want to see the bad in anyone, but it's going to take you being in the secret place of almighty God to discern what is of him and what is not. If you have ever been a victim of rape or molestation, you will know that the person who often does these acts don't always look like they do. They present themselves well in front of others so much that when the truth comes out, it always does, right? It's hard to believe, but behind closed doors, they are really given over to demonic spirits. And such is the case with these prophets. Now I'm someone on the outside looking in, but if you need to hear it from another man of God who was actually on the inside, walking side by side with these people, okay, who exposed that, I want you to go look up Pastor Greg Locke. And listen to his sermons and how he exposed these false prophets, which just literally bared witness to the dream that I had on them prior to him even coming out and sharing these things. And it's bearing witness with this video that I'm sharing right now. Literally, when I watched that film, it was like I was watching Prophet Lovi all over again from the way that him and his spiritual father would talk to the congregation, to the way that they sounded and acted when supposedly casting out demons, right? The way that they spoke to females in the church, the way that, you know, there were just so many similarities. There's no way anyone can deny that they have drinking of the same spiritual cup and given themselves over to mammon and the God of this world. Not only that, but the way that the congregation behaved, you know, that, you know, they had clips in the documentary showing the way that the congregation was behaving and things of that nature. Um, and so it's the same exact way that the congregations in um, Lovi Elias Church, and they behaved the same way way was very very similar even how they respond yes papa it's true papa it's like some of them are trained or under a spell in the past when i used to watch lovi you know um i've witnessed serving sermons from him where others when he's prophesying to them they would be quiet and he would say like you know like he needs them to talk like he wants them to respond to what he's saying and in other words they he want them to get into agreement and covenant what he is saying. Why is this dangerous? This is dangerous because he is not hearing from God. He is not hearing from the God of the Bible. He is hearing and being used by Satan. The devil does not create anything. He only takes what God has said and done and he perverts it. Now, I only watched part one of the documentary. I don't know how many parts there is. Um, I could only get through part one. I saw enough to be able to know that, yes, they are definitely connected. And the Lord put it on my heart to share this message. T.B. Joshua was a man who literally raped underage women and abused both women and men. And as um, one of his associates who worked side by side with him put it, you would never know who he truly was unless you lived with him. And a lot of these people who testify against him actually lived with him and worked for him and under him. They were under his training. Hallelujah, Jesus. They were trained and brainwashed by him from a young age. Do you know 
that after this documentary aired, Lovi, Java, Adams, and all men, you know, people connected to them came out and defended this man and accused the testimonies to be a lie because the man is no longer living to defend himself. First of all, you would consult the throne room of heaven and all of heaven will confirm and back up. Hallelujah. If you are coming from a right place, if you ask God to reveal truth to you, he will. These African prophets of Baal know the truth. Daniel, on the other hand, isn't from that culture. So he's just following along like the puppet that he is. It's disgusting and it is disgraceful. That's why every time you see Lovi comes out first and then Daniel Adams comes and he's he it's like his message is the same exact word that Lovi just said. Just up, I mean, it's just it's it's beyond me. Listen, if you are my family number one, and for anyone else who truly want a deeper relationship with the God of the Bible, the God who created the heavens and the earth and hell itself, and you are still watching these people, please heed to the instruction and warning of the Lord while you still can, okay? While you still have time. These people are taking advantage of your lack of knowledge and your lack of intimacy with the Lord, and they are using it against you. The focus must always be on Jesus. I don't care how much somebody says Jesus' name. If Jesus is not separated from the word of God, the moment you see that you begin to take on characteristics of a man instead of God, the moment you begin to hear a different word than what is literally written in the Bible is the moment you need to flee, that you need to repent and turn back to the spirit of truth within God's word. You don't need a man to be able to hear from God. That is why he left us the, per the person of the Holy Spirit. Get back into your Bible. Get back into your prayer closet. Break all ties with these men and return to the fear of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those like me who have been victims of these men and have fallen into their trap, but the Lord delivered you out. You need to speak up and expose the devil. Listen, in my last video, the, co the comment section was off because I didn't even think that it was going to reach that far. I didn't even think that, you know, I wasn't preparing to be commenting and responding back to people. I just wanted to share what the say of the Lord, get my story out so that others can be warned. But I had people coming and come finding me on social media and commenting their um, story and things of that nature that, you know, the Lord has revealed similar things to you. Listen, those people cry aloud and spare not. You need to open up your mouth and speak and expose the devil so that the blood will not be on your hands. It is the only way to get Satan out of God's house. It must be brought to life. Speak what the Lord has revealed to you so that others may be spared from the snare of the enemy. You will be held account accountable to God for your obedience and or the lack thereof. So, Father, I just thank you right now for every person who clicked on this video, Lord God, every person who is underneath the leadership of um, Lovi Elias, Java Passion, um, uh, Daniel Adams, and anyone else connected to them, Lord, I break Satan's power in the mighty name of Jesus over their lives, Lord God. Those who are searching for truth, Lord God, those who are on the barrier, Lord, they don't know. They just don't know. They're pulled in every which direction. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that the eyes of their understanding will be illuminated, Lord God. I thank you for opening up their ears that they may hear, uh, open up their eyes that they may see your truth, Lord God. Hallelujah. Pull back the veil in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, give them dreams. Give them visions, Lord God. Ah, Jesus, do not let them go into a Christless grave, Lord God. Do not let them fall away, Lord God. Deliver them as you have done for me, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for your mercy, Lord God. Oh, Lord, may they heed this warning in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah.